everybody, Ryan Medora here, and I wanted to provide you with a cool lesson on what to do if you were trying to improvise a part to a song. So this could be something where uh, you're getting together to jam with some people and you're playing with somebody that's strumming acoustic guitar and singing, or maybe you're doing a session and someone says, oh, here's my song, I want you to play on it. Um, and kind of the beginning steps in terms of what you need to do and what you need to know how to do in order to start improvising. Um, now this is going to put into play some of the concepts from my book, Beginner Improvisation for Bass Players. So if you wanna check that out, you can head over to my website, Book one, you can download for free. Um, and then there's book two and a bunch of tracks and things to go along with it. Um, and you can find those at ryanmedora.com. But in the meantime, let's get into this. So um, as a session player, a lot of times I will go into the studio and they'll say, all right, here's the artist, here's the song, figure out what to play on the spot. And it's my job as the bass player to kind of very quickly assess what's happening musically. Meaning, um, usually you're given a demo, such as maybe somebody playing guitar and singing, and these are the core elements of the song. So you have you know, melody and lyrics, and then you have the chord progression. So it's my job to be familiar with a lot of different kinds of chord progressions and how to play over them. So if somebody comes in, in this, with a song and they say, oh, the chords that I'm playing, I'm playing E major, and then I go to a B major, and then I go to C sharp minor, and then it goes to A major. You know, I've done a lot of practice, I've done a lot of work, and I've realized, oh, this chord progression sounds very familiar. It's starting on E, and then it goes to B, and both of those are major chords, it goes to this C sharp minor, and it goes to A. I know this chord progression. Right now I can assess a few things. We're in the key of E. Awesome. The chord progression is one, five, six, four. The one, the four, and five chords are major, and the sixth chord is minor. So what that means is whenever I choose notes to play, I can pull from these chords. I can use the arpeggio, I can outline the triad, I can play the root and the fifth, and I can use that just as a springboard for knowing what to play. Now, next I want to think about what's happening in the song and, and how busy of a part I should play. Because this is a song that really features the vocalist and what the lyrics are, you know, I want to stay out of the way. I want to kind of lock in with the drummer and play a simple part that lets the rest of the music really speak. So I'll listen to the drummer. Maybe the drummer's playing something like boom, ka, boom, boom, ka, boom, ka, boom, boom, ka. And I realize, oh, I could fit in with the kick drum pattern. Boom, 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 boom. And I'm going to do that. So I'm going to play root notes. I'm gonna make them sound as tight as possible with that kick drum, and I'm gonna play something like this. Something really simple, just root-centric, and that's okay. It's totally fine to play a simple part as long as it works with the music and with what the rest of the band is doing. So if you want to get creative, you can then say, well, maybe I can find some of these notes in different places. I can play the root here, I can play the fifth here, maybe I'll go to the sixth over here. Same pitch, just in a different place on the instrument. And then maybe I'll go up to the four, and I'll find the A a little bit higher. So then the chord progression sounds like this. And then maybe I want to, you know, add some passing tones. I'll use some notes in the E major scale and I'll use them to, you know, move from one chord to the other as a, a way to kind of navigate the chord progression. So maybe I'll play the root, fifth, six, and maybe I'll approach the fourth by a half step below or the third scale degree. And then maybe I'll walk up to the one with the, the fifth and the six. And it creates a part like this. And something like that just provides a little something that's a bit more interesting and then really guides the chord progression. So if I'm going to a studio and I need to approach something, or even if I'm getting together and jamming with a friend who's written a song, I'm going to kind of use that method. We're going to listen to the song, try to assess the key that we're in and what the chord progression is, and then figure out how I can best create a part that is suitable and respectful of the music. So if you dug this, please head over to my website, ryanmedora.com. Check out Beginner Improvisation for Bass Players for more tips, exercises, different ways of approaching things. And uh, happy practicing, everybody.
keep it groovy. This life is a ride to what makes you